hello guys and welcome to my channel i'll be showing us how to edit videos using x recorder kind master and how to do screen record using x recorder and i'll also be explaining the differences between x recorder and kind master and how to edit your videos for your favorite social media handles be it instagram facebook uh, pinterest youtube whatsapp and all of that so stick with me to the end of this video It's actually going to be a very long video but i advise you stick to the end because i'll be showing you so many tips that you have not known before and i'll be exposing some secret tools you can actually access using kai master and x recorder and like i said i'll be spotting the differences between these two applications and these applications uh, are actually going to be used for those that want to use their phones to make videos for youtube channel or if you're a content creator and you actually want to create videos using your phones and edit videos using your phone this application are, are really accessible for mobile users and i'm actually going to be using an android phone for this tutorial so if you have an android phone that's an added advantage but you can actually get this app probably on your iphone uh, that i'm not setting because i've not done a research on it but for android users that i'm setting so subscribe to the channel hit the notification button and like the video thank you kai masam x recorder so the first app is s recorder this is the first app and the second one is kai master this is the second one kai master so to install this just head over to your google play store and type kai master and x recorder and get this installed so the first one we'll be looking at is x recorder this video I'm recording on my screen right now is actually made possible with the help of X Recorder. Now, if you look at this point here, you see X Recorder app is using microphone. So I'm actually using it to record my screen. So if you are familiar with laptops and all of that, you know that most people using laptops to do video actually record the screen of their laptops using OBS studio so on mobile phones what I use to record is my X recorder app and you can see this app is enabling me is enabling me to to draw and you know now point out what I'm really talking about at the moment that is why I love X recorder so this is one of the advantage of X recorder now I'm going to open the X Recorder app so that I'll show you some other features on the X Recorder app. So I'll just go ahead and click on the X Recorder. I'll wait for it to open. <clears throat> so now X Recorder not only give you so many tools with which you can edit your videos one of the features displayed by the s recorder like i said is it is in doing recording your screen so these are the videos that i've edited on this app we have edited many but these are the ones that i've done recently so you can see that s recorder is actually displaying the space my storage capacity of my phone so it shows the, um, the space that i have left so i have like 2.39 gig free out of 25 gig so if i click on this place if i click on this drop down button here i'll see some options so you can see tools that are presented by the s recorder it has the camera feature 
has a screenshot feature that has a brush of which i'm using right now so this is the brush section then it has a floating ball this is the floating ball so with the floating ball i can actually pause my video save my video get my my brush from there of which you saw me when i was getting that from there and what again and then gain access to store online store so when i click you can see the pause you can see the stop this stop is actually the same you can see the brush option then you can see the store option so all these are presented when i click on this drop down button so with the brush with this brush you can see how i am drawing and pointing out stuff on my screen so that is one thing i like the x recorder for then with the screenshot feature if i turn this on it will help me to capture anything i see on my screen so for instance if i click on it now you can see the screenshot feature has been added you can see the screenshot feature here so if i just tap on it it will capture anything displayed on my screen so i don't need to use the the screenshot feature that comes with my phone where i have to drag down to click on screenshot or i have to use my three fingers to, to slide on my screen to to screenshot or use my volume and power button down volume button and power button to take a screenshot so that is why i love s recorder now the camera feature so if i click on the camera feature now it will allow me to record myself while also recording from my screen like i'm using my screen record feature now okay i'm recording my screen right now if i click on the camera uh, button right now a camera will be displayed my face will be captured and I'll, my face will be displayed capture while i'm also doing screen recording do you understand so it's more like a webcam feature so let's turn off our screenshots you can see that is a camera so with this my face will be displayed while recording it's as simple as that that is why i love screen recorder so all these are displayed in this session here so the next thing we'll look at is you can see this is a video session this session here is a video session this is a camera session we have a camera session here we have you can actually move this we have our edit session here then we have settings so i we just have to click on edit let me click on edit so when i click on edit this pencil icon here to move this draw here you just have to click on this spot those two dotted lines here and you'll be able to move it so when i click on that pencil icon this is what i have displayed on my screen edit video edit photo merge video and photo video compress then this one is add add so i'll just have to so like i said you can actually use this x recorder to edit videos edit photos merge a video and, and a photo together compress a video if you have if you have a large size video on your phone you can actually compress it using this x recorder so let's we'll, we'll start with the first one we are going to touch the other parts the edit photo option merge video we're going to touch them so if you click on edit video so the videos you have on your phone will be edited so let's say for instance i want to edit this video this was a riaza we did in church so this you can see the options provided if i want to edit video i have the trim i have the trim i have the speed i have the copy i have the music I have the volume, I have the text, 
I can slide. So I have the text. I have the text. I have the ratio. I have the crop. I have the rotate. You can see. Then I have this one displayed here. The add button. Whereby I can add another video to this one. So let me show you that if you click on that plus sign there. You can see I can add another video. So I'll click on this one. So you can see I've added two videos by clicking on this plus sign displayed here. This plus sign displayed here. So and I can remove it by just clicking on this. The video I've added. If I want to remove it, I'll just click on this X here. And the video will be removed. Do you want to delete? Yes. So you can see. So I'm going to explain all the features here. So when you click on trim, now the trim has two sections. It has the trim and the cut. With the trim, I can trim from one extreme. And I can trim from the other extreme. You understand? You can trim the beginning of a video to the end, to the middle. And you can trim the end of a video to the middle or almost to the beginning. That is what the trim does. Maybe you, you want to trim the, the, the beginning of a video because you are not okay with it. You can use the trim feature here. Or if you want to trim the end, or if the video is too long and you want to trim it, that's why you use the trim feature. But with the cut feature, you can actually cut a particular part of the video. It mustn't be the beginning and it mustn't be the end. It can actually be in the middle. Maybe, for instance, this video is is 59 minutes long so between sorry 59 seconds long so that's almost a minute so between maybe 30 seconds to 45 seconds you you are, you are not okay with that part and you want to cut it out you can actually use the cut feature to cut that part out so what i'll do is i'll drag this part i said 30 to to 45 right so you can see This is my 30, 30 seconds on the dot. You can see it here. This is my 30 seconds on the dot. This is where you look at it from. So I've dragged it to 30 seconds. And I want to trim it to 45. I want to remove between 30 seconds to 45 seconds. So all I'll do, I'll drag this one. So I'll drag this one. See, I get 45. Okay, let me leave at 45.1. You can see it here. You can see the 45.1 option here. So you can see I've trimmed between 30 seconds to 45 seconds. And I've got this space here. So this space that I've got here is between the 30 seconds to 45 seconds. So I've removed from between 31 seconds to 44, 45 seconds. So when I click on, when I click on this, it means I've trimmed it. So, or it means I've cut it rather, not trimmed. So that's how to use the cut feature. So I can click on this to cancel. I can click on this to cancel. So we are back. Then how about speed? If you want to increase the speed of a video, maybe it is too slow for your liking, you want to make it faster, you can just click on speed. So you can make the speed one time the initial speed. That is one X, the initial speed two times the initial speed you can see 1.2 1 point you can see two times the initial speed you can see the video just played and you can see slower now so just put it i think it was 1.2 the initial one so that's how to increase the speed then copy you can copy a video by 
duplicate if you click on the copy option you have actually duplicated the video so you can see i click on copy and the video was duplicated so when i click on the copy icon you can see that the video was actually duplicated so that's what the copy feature does then do you want to delete yes then music you can add music to to your video so for instance if you click on this plus icon now you'll be able to add a music if i click on this you'll be able to add a music so you just click on the plus so you'll be asked to choose music from uh, your audio library so you can see recently added music i can just click on the recently added and i can see other folders of which i can add my music from so so you can you can see that so you can choose where you want to add any music from so for instance we can just add this music here i'll just choose any music here i'll just choose this okay let me look for something so if you want to add any music you just have to click the plus icon so just if you click on the plus icon now you can see you have added the music so all you need to do if you click on the music you can see now when you click anywhere on your screen the music have not been highlighted so when i click on the music i've highlighted it that is where you see the edit option edit option split option copy and delete so if you want to copy duplicate the music make it to you click on copy the delete is to delete the music the split is to it will split the music into two then the edit let's work with the edit with the edit option you can actually reduce the volume you can actually reduce the volume of the music you can actually make it fade in you can actually trim the music and stuff like that so with this you can with this volume option here you can actually increase the volume of the video and reduce it of the music rather so i'll just click on cancel so that's all so we'll just have to delete this music so that's how to use the music aspect then the volume is to increase the general volume of the audio so if i do this now you see i've reduced the volume of the audio so if you increase it down here you increase it so that's how to then if you want to write anything on the video you can click on maybe i want to type please subscribe to my channel please subscribe 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 please subscribe let me work with this so i can actually choose the font size maybe i'll look for then the font size is okay okay white then the border i want to also use white now let me use red then reduce it a bit the then label you can see with this you can re reduce the opacity of what you've written then shadow we can make the shadow blur then with this you can change the position you can see it, it is changing to text you can see so when i'll click on this i can choose the position if i want it to start from the edge if i want it to start from this edge or from the center so i'll just click on this then when i pinch on this and i i can actually reduce the size i'm holding this text i've written more like with my two fingers i pinch on my screen and i'm dragging it when i expand my fingers 
I increase the size when I reduce I have reduced the size then I can actually increase the length for which I want this to play so for instance now if I just if I just play now you can see you can see after this point the subscription button disappeared but if I want it to appear on my screen then I'll have to drag it if I want it to appear throughout the video then I'll have to drag it to the end of the video so at every point in this video you see the subs please subscribe text that I've written if I reduce it to half if I reduce it to half So at this point, you see, the subscribe button is no longer there. When it gets to this point, it will display. So that is how to add the text. You can write whatever you want to write. So the next thing is ratio. So you can choose the ratio. There are so many ratios here. This is the original ratio. Maybe you want Instagram normal post ratio. Instagram... Uh, uh, reef ratio YouTube ratio you can see the YouTube ratio Instagram reef ratio Instagram uh, normal Instagram post ratio you can see the YouTube you can see Instagram story normal video ratio Facebook different ratios all are displayed here but I, I prefer to use the original ratio depending on the video I'm editing anyways so you can choose any ratio you want so I'll just if I'm using the YouTube ratio that's what I'll use if I'm creating a video for my YouTube channel I'll use that but I'm not editing this video for my YouTube channel so I'll just leave it for the original the screen recording I'm doing right now is what I'm going to upload on the channel so I'll, I'll use this normal ratio when editing this video so I'll just click on the arrow then the next one is crop when cropping the video you can actually crop it from underneath or above so you can see I can crop it from the side I can crop out these keyboards emphasizing on only the lead guitarist for instance so that is how to use the crop feature you can crop from above underneath side or you can see or from the edge if you drag from the edges you are you are cutting both you are cropping from both the 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 up and the sides at once from the if I, uh, cropping from the side you are only cropping from this side from the right side same is applicable to the left side if i'm cropping from beneath same is applicable here so that's how to crop so this x recorder provides you with the ability to crop a video also maybe i'm recording from my screen and i don't want my notification to be displayed while uploading this picture with this i can actually crop out my notifications notification section from the video then i might die parts to what next rotate so you can see you can use the rotate button to rotate the video to any angle you want then what again that's how that's how to use x recorder x recorder doesn't provide you with any uh, features particularly for you to to change the color of your videos uh, color tone color grading making it bright increasing contrast and all of that now another thing i want you to understand is you know some video applications allows you to display some videos over others now that is where kai master will come in kai, with kai master you can actually display video over another you can use chromo that is if you have a video that has green background when placed on your current video the background of that video will actually that green background will disappear and the normal 
what is in that video will be displayed that's chromo or chroma is chroma so that is all these are available with the kind master but with the x record that they are not available i can't place another video if I, I can only add a video to this video so if i want to add a video i'll just click on that plus sign add a video if i click ok so after this video finish playing this one will follow suit but i can't place it on it see i'm dragging it i can't place it on it or i can't put it underneath it so that as this first one is playing this second one will also play at the same time maybe reducing the size or something it, it, that is not possible with the x recorder but that is possible with the kind master so if i want to save this video that i've edited i can actually click on i can actually click on save here so when i click on save now now one thing ahead uh, before i do that you can see this x recorder a watermark that is actually displayed on this video you can actually remove it so when you click on it now for instance if you click on this x displayed on it you can see one small x displayed on it so if you click on that x they'll ask you to either subscribe join their x recorder pro you can join x recorder pro let me read out the notification that is displayed here you can join the x recorder pro to enjoy unlimited features or watch a short video to try for free or watch a short video to try for free so if either you join the x recorder pro so when you click on this you see the procedures on how to join x recorder pro or you can lock it for free using or or by just watching an advert so when you watch an advert it, you 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 remove that watermark you remove this watermark well my data is not turned on at the moment my mobile data is not turned on at the moment so i'll not bother doing that because if i do that my recording might start lagging so what i'll do next is to click on save so if i click on save now i'll be provided with options for which i want to save it so you can see the first one is if i want to save it as 1080p, 720p, 640p, 540, 360 original and all of that. So depending on the grade of the quality of the video you want, you can choose any of these. The one I prefer, I use prefer, uh, preferably is from this up, from 400. So this is what I prefer to use below this the 360 and 240 are too low the qualities are too low but it actually the more quality of the video you want the more size the video we we take maybe the original video was maybe 500 uh, mb and you are using the first one the the video might just reduce a bit to my and you know you might end up getting 450 uh, mb but if you use a 480, 540, you might end up getting something like 100 MB. So it has actually compressed the size of the, the video. If you use 360, it will actually reduce it the more or 240. But the quality of the video will be very, very poor. So I can just choose any and just click on save. When I click on save now, it will actually save. You just have to wait for it to load. But I don't want to save this video. So after loading, it will be displayed in your gallery so that's how to use the s recorder to actually edit videos and all of that now this is the video aspect we can actually add a photo to this video so if you click on this plus icon we can actually add a photo to it so this is the photo session we can choose any video sorry any photo at all to add and um, with that we have actually made a video and a picture together that was what was displayed in the first in the options that i actually showed you guys in the beginning we'll have the edit video edit photo edit uh, merge video and merge video and photo then compress video so when i click on maybe which video am i going to click here so let me click on this deborah 
This is one of my friend's picture. So at the end of this video, at the end of this video, my friend's picture will just pop in. You can see. So I've actually merged the video and the photo together. So that's how to add a photo. I can drag this photo now. I can just long press on this photo displayed here. I can long press on this and I can drag it to the first position. I can make it appear first before this video. You can see I switch the position. So the photo will come first before the video. You can see. Then the video. You can see. So that's how to add a photo, merge a video and a photo all together. Now, if I was using KineMaster, I'm actually going to show you, it would have been possible for me to place this, this photo on this video. While the video is playing, the picture is displayed on it. I would have been able to do that with KineMaster, but that is not possible with the S-Recorder. I'm actually going to show you that. So, that is one aspect. So, let's take it. I will finish editing this video. I want to go back. So, just click on Exit. So... You can see we'll finish with this one then let's see if we can edit a photo we'll just click on edit photo so for instance so we'll still work with this picture so you can see you can see the you can crop the picture to any size you want you can brush so if i want to write something on it i can actually use a brush I want to put a, a frame I can click on this to add frame and this is a rectangular frame this one will be the circular then these are other options we are going to check all of them out to see so you can see circular I can draw an arrow with that then this one is to add the background making a mosaic or some so these are the options provided by the brush so we'll just cancel then we we'll have text that the text option is only available to those that have registered for the pro then we'll see the more so if you click on more if uh, install photo editor with that you can so the options provided for the photo editing especially Photo editing section here is just crop, brush, and rotate, nothing more. So it doesn't provide elaborate tools for you to edit your photos, change filter, increase tone, increase contrast and stuff, make it black and white and all of that. All these are not available in the extra recorder editing photo editing session. So We'll just leave that. So compress a video now. You see, compressing a video is not available in the free for free users. You have to register before you can actually compress any video you want to compress. So let's just look at the settings. So these are the settings. Mm, we we'll have the microphone settings. We have the resolution, we have the auto, the quality, the uh, FPS. Down, and if you want smooth video, but uh, say higher FPS means smoother video, but use more CPU. So the time it will take for you to save a video will be longer. But then we have the orientation, landscape or portrait. We we'll have to leave it on auto, depending on the video. It will just have to set itself by. Uh, set itself then you have the storage location the repair system ui crash if your if the application is lagging on your phone with the repair system ui crash you can actually fix it then avoid normal stop turn off the system battery optimization for extra recorder to strengthen stability so if for your application to work very fine you have to turn off system battery optimization so that the extra recorder will work very fine then recording mode it is in the normal mode countdown before start now before i started recording this video you saw the countdown it will actually start from three two one before the video starts 
recording. So pop up, uh, pop up window after taking screenshots. So a pop up window we we, we actually display after taking a screenshot. Then hide record window during recording. Now I didn't hide that. So with this now, if I go up, you can see. So with this. The record window you see here so which one again keep recording when screen is off no so screenshot i told that off camera i told that off brush i turned that off then let's click on show touch you can see so these are some of the things displayed in the settings Screenshot code, language, feedback, debug, share, join S recorder community, and all of that. So, these are the things available in the settings option. Do you understand? So, this is how to use S recorder to edit your videos and your photos. So, the next thing I'll be heading at is how to use s recorder sorry the kind master so we just exit this space now and then we head over to kind master so you can actually see our kind master is here so our kind master is here so we we'll just have to open it So let's wait for it to open. Now I refer to the Kai Master as uh, my mobile phone's Adobe Premiere uh, video editing app. It is so amazing. Most of my videos that I've, en I've edited the most are actually done using the Kai Master. Kai Master is so sweet. So you can see the interface displayed here. So the first thing displayed here is actually, uh, what should I call it? The new project. So if you are working on Kai Master, you have to create a project name. You have to create a project and you can actually name that project so that if you want to come back Maybe you are doing the work and you're tired and you want to rest and you want to come back to finish it up later. You can actually save it and leave it with that. This was not displayed or this was not this was not provided in the X recorder. So this was not provided in the S recorder. So you can actually see the settings icon, notification help then watch video tutorials so then you have to also have the mix have the mix search create then your profile so if you have a profile I register with them you see your profile there then create new project search for your project that you saved then if you want to mix videos and all of that that is not really our concentration right now so let's proceed to see if we can create a project now if you click on new project so you just have to click on this new project so you click on new project so now when you click on new project you can see project name you can see the options you have been provided with here. You can see project name, aspect ratio, then advanced. So you can see, so let me say, let me, let me name this project. I'll just name it Kind Master Video Tutorial. Uh, kind Master Video Editing 
tutorial then i have to select a ratio so the first one is youtube ratio the second one is instagram uh, uh reef ratio then the normal instagram post ratio we have video ratio we have a uh, another ratio here that is a uh, ratio four we we'll have the instagram story ratio then we we'll have ratio two ratio three two ratio 35 sorry 2.35 ratio one so these are the ratios available so i'll click on advanced so if i click on the advanced i'll see you see the one the few if you want the video to fill the whole screen if you want to have a blur at the edge of your videos you use this one i prefer to use this one then you have the auto the auto will just adjust depending on the kind of the video then you have to say default photo duration default transition duration and all of that all those ones are not really necessary for myself i prefer to use this either the youtube because it depends on the video i'm making and um, what i really want to see if i use the video the youtube ratio the 16 ratio 9 it will actually reduce the size of my video so i prefer to use this i prefer to use this fourth one the four ratio three four ratio three even though i'm uploading it on youtube so i'll just click on create so i'll just click on create so now the video will change transition so you can see the options displayed by the x recorder this is why i love x recorder so you have to choose a video you want to edit so let me take for instance i'll choose same video that i chose the last time we are there so let me choose this let me check here okay let me choose this video so I'll, I'll wait for it to load I can touch any on my screen ouch ouch so this is my video session I'm supposed to click something so that it will go back So, okay you can see I have to click back here okay there's a slight mistake so my X recorder app the display on my screen is not allowing me to go back okay so it has gone back so this is my video you can see so many options displayed here let's show if you want if you want to do professional video editing with your phone i recommend the kai master if you want to record video tutorials from your screen i recommend x recorder if you want to capture your face while recording all those can be possible with the edge recorder but if you want to edit the recorded videos you've done with your screen i recommend kai master kai master is actually the best so you can see on our display here you can actually see layer with this layer you can add another video under this video and both will be displayed on together you can reduce the size of it i'm actually going to show all us this you can record while editing a video if there's a part you don't like you can actually cut the audio of that part or and add your own voiceover to it it's as simple as that you can add audio you can add audio to it music anything then when you click on the media you can add full videos you can add 
uh, photos. You can add other saved audios in your file and stuff. So I'm going to actually show us all of this. So when you click on the video here, so when you click on the video here, you can see options have been displayed. So many options have been displayed. So we have the replace, we have the trim, we have the split, we have the with the split, you can actually split a video into two. So when we click on the trim and split now, I can actually slide it any point this any point this line is displayed on this line here this red line you are seeing any point it is when you click on any of the trim right or trim left or trim at the middle if you click on trim right now the whole of this part the whole of this part will be removed if you click on trim left the whole of this part will be removed if you click on trim at the center so from this red point here that point in the middle will actually be split into two do you understand so if you click on the last one the split and insert this last one you can actually split it and insert something in between it you can see the advanced features provided by 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 Kai Master. So this is why I love Kai Master. So another thing we are going to look at is mm, mixer. You can actually change the, the the tone of the audio of the video. You can increase the volume to two hundred percent, hundred percent. You can you know now the pitch you can shift it to the right or to the left and all of that yes. so all these are available yes. with the kind master then auto volume if you click on this f x here i have to turn on the auto volume you see so these are other features then we look at speed we can mute audio, we can keep the pitch, we can increase increase the speed of the video and stuff. So many features displayed here. So which one again? Increase the speed one time, four times the original, eight times the original speed and all of that. Then we can actually reverse the video. Now this, this you can see it's trying to reverse the video now. I can actually cancel it. You see? They were trying to reverse the video. And when you reverse the video, the beginning will become the end, and the end will become the beginning. So that's one thing with reversing the video. So what again? We have pan and zoom. So when I pinch on my screen displayed here, when I pinch, on my screen displayed here this is my screen so when i pinch on this screen when i pinch drag by opening my hand my fingers that i've used to pinch on my screen and bring it close i can zoom the video let me show you for instance see i'm zooming it zoom in so we can see so with that i can pinch and zoom the video then rotate and mirroring so you can see i've rotated it back again i'll turn it down you can see all these are possible with the rotating so you can actually if you want to make a video and you want it to look as if the person is left-handed or right-handed you can actually use the rotate and mirroring then we have filter now these were the options that were not available most of these options that I just show you are not available on the S recorder. They are not available on the S recorder, but they are available on the Kine Master Pro. So you can actually, I can actually change. You can see. Wow. You see, I've changed the color, the tone of this video. 
can see all these features were not available are you seeing all these features were not available they were not available on the x recorder app but they are all available here you can see i'm making this video final now wow the video looks so sweet now then low saturation you can choose anyone i think i like the lo3 wow i like that so if you're a movie producer and you are recording with your phone you can consider using kind master no that is too bright yes i love this you now have the mono i'll leave that now have the vivid wow wow i love the vivid one v3 no wow i love the vivid one so i'm going to leave it at that then warm so you can see warm wow i like the warm too no Wow, the one five is okay. No. One ten. I think I said I love the one two and one five. Yes, I love the one five. So you can see all these have been possible with the filter option provided by Kai Master. These were not available on our X recorder app. So are you seeing the disadvantage and and the advantages of these two applications over each other? One has the ability to record and all of that providing brush for you that is if you are into tutorials if I, you use the X recorder, if you are into complete video editing, Kind Master will be your tool. So you need these two applications. So use one to record, use the other one to edit. So you can see we've edited this video. So if you want to apply all these features to your other videos that you'll be editing, you can click on the apply to all option so we'll just go back then we have the adjustment you can adjust the brightness you can see you can adjust the brightness you can reduce it the contrast you can increase or reduce it 100 percent the saturation you can increase it the vibrance you can increase it temperature you can increase or reduce it depending on what you want then shadow or depending on what you want then gain Then we we'll have gamma, so I'll just leave this as minus one. Lift, leave this at zero. Okay. 
we leave it at zero. So you can see, even without using the filter, we can still use the adjustment to edit the video. Do you understand? We can actually use the adjustment to edit the video. So we have clip graphics, or these ones if you want to add them on stage you can see you can see what is happening <laughs> you can see what is happening the stars are coming down basic title effect if you want to add you just have to write something and it will be dis displayed there so there are so many features provided by the kind master vignette you can see the edges have been made black. Volume envelope. These are more advanced features for the volume of the video. We have equalizer, normal, if you want, the normal, if you want, uh, AM radio, bass booster, bass booster, bass reducer, hip hop, anything. So you can see. Depend then reverb. We can actually add reverb depending on what you want. Then voice changer. You can actually change the voice of the video. As Ex extract audio. You can actually extract the audio from this video. Wow, this is amazing. This is why I love this app. It is amazing. I love this app so much. So you can see all these are made possible. With the Kai Master, then transcode. So many things you can transcode. Let's just leave that for now. Then information about the video all can enter here. Now remember, I wanted to show you how to uh, add a video over another. So let's click on layer. So on the layer here, you can see effect. You can see stickers. You can see text. You can see handwriting above you see media so if i click on that first one i can actually add any so let me see if i can add a video over it so mm, let me click here so i'll add this video so now a layer of that video has been created underneath so you can see this video this is the original video this is the original video then this is the one that i've added underneath so you can see i've been provided with option to reduce the size of this video you can see it here so i can actually play these two videos together at the same time one doesn't have to finish playing before the other start running as we saw on our x recorder so i can actually reduce the size of this video when i just do this you can see i can drag it down and i can rotate it you can see so two videos have been displayed over each other do you understand two videos have been displayed over each other can you see what i'm telling you so Kai Master is B. You can actually, you can actually uh, add animation. Okay, look at animation. We can actually make it make it fade in, fade out, using any style, pop, slide. So many options available here. Overall animation, in animation what is happening when the animation is coming do you want it to just pop if it's popping it that is in animation what do you want to see do you want it to fade out do you want it to slide different things are all available in the in animation out animation then overall animation then mixer all these like we saw from the beginning are all available then uh what again then if you added an effect and you want to remove it if you added an effect and you want to remove it you can actually you can actually click on this 
on this section here to undo it. So you can undo it from that section. So you can undo it from this section. And same here. So you can see. Then you can delete. Sorry. This is not among. This is not among. You can use the first or the second. If you want to, if you added if, if an effect that you want to remove, you can click that. Okay, let's see. Something will be removed if you added an effect. Then if you want to, you can see. Then if you click on the second one, it will go back to what was there before. You see? So then we can click on the delete option and stuff. This has been made possible with. So if you want to save, now our X recorder that I'm using to record here will not make it possible for me to show you that. But with this, saving an edited video wouldn't be a problem. Then I did not even talk about adding a music. Now, X recorder provides you with music that you can add. So if you click on audio here, you can see music. These musics were the ones I actually downloaded. So X Record provides you with music that you can actually use. You know, sometimes if you want to upload music on YouTube and you use someone else's uh, music that that has standard YouTube license, that is plagiarism and copyright. So you can't use that. So X Record provides you with free loops of music that you can use to add to your videos. Do you understand? So you can click any of these. Can you hear what is playing? I can, can, you, can you hear that? This is, a, this is another one. So you can actually down, you can actually download videos, sorry, music from the a Kai Master Pro, Kai Master app that you can use. Do you understand? Get sound effects recorded. If you've recorded any, then songs. You see. So I downloaded those three and I've been using them for most of my videos. So that's how to add music and stuff. If you want to add photos, you click on media, you add anything you want to add. It's as easy as that. So that's how to use the X Recorder and the Kai Master Pro to edit videos, edit photos for your favorite social media handle. So I've shown the advantages of one and the disadvantages of it. I've shown the advantages of the other and the disadvantages. And I've shown how profitable they are to those that want to make videos with their phones and also edit them with their phones without using the laptop. So this is what you can actually do. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the knowledge I've shared. So if you do, please subscribe to the channel turn on the notification button and like this video. I really need that like. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful time.